Okay. Uh, we live? Okay. Uh, we live? Seems like it. Alright, so... Moving on from my last blunder. Uh, where I forgot to actually add the amount of stuff that we've got in storage to the negative number that we send to LTN. Um, what we need to do here is have a one-way piece of wire uh, multiply by one combinator because if we just connect this one... Oh, let's demonstrate. If we just connect the contents of the chests to this output here, it is going to send the right number to LTM, but we're going to have the wrong count uh, showing on our digital display. So we don't want that. We'll connect this up over here and then connect this one like so. And we need to patch that for... I think it's seven more uh, stations like this. So this goes here, and like so. These are the pickup stations, those don't need to change. Um, oh yeah, I remember why we did this. Okay. Pickup station. And drop off. Copy and flip. Uh, that doesn't look quite right with the displays over here. Let's be a bit more precise. Just this part, please. And make sure I turn on RoboCourt. Mm, don't really need that much power right now. I, oh, we're not copy-pasting the wire over here if we do that. Okay, so that goes there, and that goes there. Why? Oh, oh no. Um, what was this? Iron plate? I uh, iron ore. Okay. We configure this for iron ore. This is copper ore. And let's not do that by copy paste, shall we? Or I should have just copy pasted this much, but. Okay, so that should be fine. We're now putting the am amount of copper that we have here. Addition and subtraction with the maximum as a negative. Alright, cool. Let's just copy this part. So over here, we move all of these up. Uh, we get confused. Like so. Just gonna do it like that. Make sure we don't make the same mistake again. And... Just a couple more of these. And like so. Why is there no station here? 
Is that why we have new steel in storage? It is plausible. Why don't we put this down here? And I also want to double check the station name. So these are all called storage. These are all called storage pickup. That should be fine. Okay. So that should fix that problem of just asking for resources from LTN, no matter how much we've got, until the end of time. Um, I haven't actually configured this one to store anything yet. Uh, steel, I don't know if we are likely to have any excess lying around at the moment. There's only 8.9 thousand in uh, this station right here, so I don't think we're going to see steel actually stored here for a while. Um, meanwhile, time to send that stone train back. That should be the last one that accidentally gets sent here while the station, while the storage is full. Considering how quickly we've accumulated half a million stone, um, it might be a good idea to make a sink for it. We're also frighteningly full on copper plate already. Iron plate? Since I think that's going to be the thing that's most in demand, um, I wouldn't say we're frighteningly full on that, uh, but we are half full on our storage for it already. That's actually a bit surprising, to say the least. We've actually got no iron ore in storage. Which would seem to imply to me that... Um, that our furnaces are keeping up with everything. Currently, we're making steel, 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 copper, copper, steel. Um, yeah, that is, that is quite a lot. 51,000... Well, not 51,000, uh, 511,000 copper ore as well as all of the plate we've got in storage. It... It just seems... It just feels very weird to me that we've got all of this stuff, all of these different resources in storage, and yet we have zero iron ore. Good morning, t -Hex. I am Zuck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've also got no steel in storage. Um, but yeah, that should help. But it's not a permanent solution by any means. What? What? What's going on here? All of our... We just ran out of cores, of core fragments. What is happening? We can make 127 per second. Currently, we don't have enough power for that. Um, industrial furnaces... Oh, there it is, core mining drill. We haven't done any core mining for like eight minutes. And I'm not sure why. Maybe the amount, because we're power limiting it, maybe the amount of power that we're using has increased to some critical mass where... Hey, Bijon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, 
let's see where... I like this design right here. Let's see exactly where these uh, little bits of... Uh, landfill should go. Is that two or three? It's three from there. I'm glad I didn't do it too early before. It's exactly in the middle of this part. Alright, cool. So that goes there. That goes there. Got to be careful with landfill. There's no taking it back. I'm pretty sure there's no taking it back. Oh, I can't see all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. I wonder why. What is happening with our power? Oh, that's why we haven't been drilling. A super cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. Saw you streaming a minute ago. How was your stream? Let's see. Forget. There we go. It's called Waterfill. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of cheaty. I, I, I don't feel like it would be cheating to remove landfill that you've already placed, but I don't know. If you're, if you're not playing a game with biters, like, who cares? On the other hand, but it's up to you how you play it. Got home just in time for the raid. Nice. So JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Went well, thanks. Preparing to get another planet. Nice, nice. Um, I think I had better rush getting this uh, nuclear plant built and not just wait for it because... We're having some serious issues power-wise. I'm not I'm not entirely sure why all of a sudden. Um, probably has something to do with all of these bot jobs. Let's have a look. Uh, over the last hour, RoboPorts. Maybe. I don't know if that's enough to push things over the edge, but on the other hand, the core mining drills are power limited, so... Hmm. That... they... the RoboPort starts spiking like crazy, sort of, around the same time. Uh, I don't think that's sufficient as an explanation. Water fill can be slightly overpowered, yeah. Yeah, we need flying biters. What is going on here? Speaking of biters. They always manage to sneak in here. Um, how is construction of our wall going? Pretty good, I think. Well, it's happening anyway. It seems to have really slowed down, uh, slown? slowed down around halfway built. Oh, there was an issue where it wasn't being built at all for a little while, and we fixed that, and the bots are still sorting it out. I forgot about that. Flying biters? Thinks about the horrors? Yeah, they could look like mutalisks or something. Um, okay, I think the play right now... I want to just double check there aren't any more expansion bases here. I cleared them out quite recently. Oh, hello. That's a little bit concerning. Um, but what I want to do is run back to base and pick up some nuclear plant stuff directly. And we'll get this new plant built as quickly as possible. Budge T-Hacks. 
Oh. Uh, so J and O. Streamlabs doesn't know what a regular is. What do we got here? Flyer's enemy. Yes. Looks a little weird. Oh, it's literally mutilisks. As they literally just ripped it from StarCraft 1, it looks like. Okay, um... I need to pick up some nuclear things. And a lot more landfill. I'll get the landfill first, as soon as the bots have brought me my usual things. Public domain, I guess? Uh... Either that, or they're just hoping to fly under the radar. Uh, here is our copious amounts of landfill. I may have set this a little too harshly. Well, I'll sort it out when I get down there. All right, that's close enough. What do we got here? Stone has to be greater than 100k. It, well, that's not going to happen. Uh, we're nearly full here and we've got 49k. Let's call it 30,000. All right, we'll take all of the landfill first. I probably should fill my trash slots with it as well, actually. Uh, like so. And run away before the bots take our stuff. On to our new nuclear plant. Actually, what I could do, that works as well. Nah, I think I'll just place most of this myself. Though, I will take the help from some of these construction bots here. Uh, bot commands get delivered in waves and they're currently having a nap. Logistic bots can be very fast if you, if their journey is extremely short. How many logistic bots do we have here? Only 10. Significantly outpacing a stack inserter. And the construction bots are still not... Oh, I see why. That would probably help. Now this RoboPort's going to go online. I wonder why... I guess I didn't include a request for big power poles over here. Yeah. So they never built this one, so this never had power. I should probably include, like, at least a solar panel in any nuclear plant design. Literally just uh, like putting a solar panel here and maybe an accumulator. Uh, we'll make sure things like this don't happen. Very short journeys are what bots are made for, yeah. So I didn't even realize this was never going to get finished without my intervention. Apart from... Well, that substation there does the job, but don't actually need that big pole. But even so. A solar panel to bootstrap the inserters or activate the robot port. Round it out the moment bots 
charge. Yeah, no, but the thing is, the, the, it's only there so that you're not literally at zero. Um, so that, for example, you don't get bots building out here or anything. I could speed this up a little bit by helping. Gotta be careful though. I don't want to uh, waste any, well, place any accidental landfill that I can never get rid of. Carefully. All right, that's enough. Oh, don't forget to have more power. Let's grab a few more fishies. while we're here. I do wish it would just include the ghosts on top of the landfill ghosts. done. Please don't tell me I messed this part up. It looks a bit weird, but I think that's right. Um, let's see. Four by nuclear. Whoops. Perfect. I think. What's going on down there? Oh, there's a bit more landfill to be placed. Just a little bit more. Fantastic. Alright. Very carefully. And now we gotta go back for the real stuff. if I just take what's in this chest. Wait, is that all? Some fuel, offshore pumps, and two inserters? Oh, we placed everything else already, that's why. Alright, so let's go back for the heat exchangers, steam engines, and heat pipes, which we need like 500 heat pipe, 200 steam... 112 feet exchanger. Okay. Nowhere near enough heat exchangers or pipes are here. Uh, let's make this go to 500. This goes to 150. This goes to 8, and this goes to 500. I want to accumulate enough of these to uh, build an entire nuclear plant all at once if we want to.
So we need four more reactors. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Power is not looking good right now. Do we actually have fuel for the nuclear reactor? Oh. Well, there's your problem. Have we actually run out? No? There's 2.4 thousand nuclear fuel in this chest. There is a train on its way. A train literally just delivered. I think I might know what's happening. Uh, let's see. This temporary stuff. All of the fuel is getting delivered here. Literally all of it. I think that's what's happening. But... I mean... Okay, we did just distribute all of the fuel over here, but, like, shouldn't... Alright, can we just drop the priority of this back down from a million? What's this one? Priority is... Just regular priority, actually. Okay. Let's remove the priority on this request. And then I will... Did I already place all of these things? I guess so. Except for some pipe. Nuke fuel? Nuke fuel. A podcast about engineering disasters with slides. Yes, indeed. Because the train only carries 20 and the stop is requesting 50. Um... The stop is requesting 50, but the train can absolutely carry uh, 2,000 if it wants to. Alright, let's just go and manually collect some nuclear fuel over here and drop it off. Yeah, I'm didn't really... I don't know, we've got a ton of fuel. Um, you would think some fuel would be getting delivered down here while the other resources get delivered to the other station, but apparently not. And away goes our fuel. They're not going to make it, are they? Oh, they did. Without recharging. Alright. That should probably help with the whole power issue. Uh, steam turbine. <laughs> steam turbine line go up. Line go up very fast indeed. Damn it, he isn't here. Veldak isn't. Blame Veldak? It's gonna tell him another day closer to food picks. Okay. Alright. Um, let me just drop off all of this nuclear fuel. And that should keep things going for quite a while by itself. Well, on the plus side, it motivated us to make sure this one gets finished. Um, and it is actually powered and going to get finished now. One more reason to not rely just on nuclear, because if we didn't have all the solar plants, um, the whole base would pretty much just stop. A ragamuffin? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we're getting core fragments again, that's nice. We have uh, 8,000 already. And numbers keep going up over here as well. Still no iron ore in storage. Holy core mining? <laughs> yes, indeed. 
Trap a beast. We have uh, 64 claw mining drills that fit surprisingly neatly into one of these blocks. Hello, Hex. Uh, Cassandra Asmolith, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so now that that's fixed, what's your problem? You somehow still have stone. I wonder if I sent too much stone back to the depot all at once. This should only have happened if this train had stone in it uh, to begin with. Okay, we don't have any other weird train get stuck issues, I hope. And how is... I guess the building of the wall will be going a bit faster now. The red lights tell us where the power has switched on over here. Those should not be connected like that. I'm really not sure how things like this keep happening. We specifically had a blueprint for this, you know, Partly so that we don't get these weird wire connections. That looks fine. Okay. So where are you taking this coal? Over to... Oh, the main base. Fair enough. That reminds me, we should probably make another coal liquefaction. Although I would rather finish building this wall before we tear down even a little bit of this one to make room. I do like to try to keep uh, similar modules next to each other. So maybe if we ever need it, we'll put another green circuit one right here. Although, considering that this thing can do a little bit less than 380. Oh no, this is 45 times 8, actually, because it bottlenecks on the belt at best. Like, I think it goes a little bit, just a little bit slower than 45, so 360 per second uh, green circuits. That's pretty good. More th A stack and a half per second of green circuits. Okay. I'm actually not sure... Tyrannosaurus Hacks, do you have a few minutes to talk about your car's extended warranty? I, yes, I don't have a car though. Was it 86 per second or was that back at 16 coal miners? Uh, I think that was half of this, so... Oh, it was like 24 coal miners, I think, were giving us um, uh, 86. Or was it... This is 86. One of these blocks of... Um, pulverizes is 86 and I think it was it was either 24 or like half of these coal miners um, 32 that was giving us just slightly less than one of these blocks um, there's a weird bug at the moment with a rate calculator that I've only seen happening when I select the core miners um, for some reason, the count of the core miners in this UI is double, but it still shows all of the data correctly. So that 127.49 core fragments per second is correct, but we actually just have 64 core miners.
only 64. I think if I doubled it, I wouldn't even get to, like, I don't know, 150, 160 core fragments per second. We're really getting into um, diminishing returns territory with this many miners. But on the other hand, we're also well and truly getting into being able to supply the base with everything from the core miners territory as well. And when we get mining productivity 5, uh, we're actually going to be getting that much more out of coal mining as well. Nice to see just saturated belts of green circuits. Delicious. What's the deal with deep mining? Can you base your whole base solely on coal mining? Or is it too inefficient? Uh, there's a starman. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And the answer is... Kind of. Uh, it's very power expensive. And you get diminishing returns from additional core mining drills. So you basically have to... You have to create... Uh, you have to make a ludicrous amount of power to base your entire base on core mining. On the other hand, resources are a bit scarce in um, space exploration, at least on Nalvis. So it's definitely not a good idea, uh, not a bad idea to do it anyway. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I still haven't got around to really doing the math. Um, how much uranium does this use? Apparently. All, apparently each, um, nuclear reactor uses a uranium fuel cell every 20 seconds? No, it's much better than that. Uh, 18 per hour. Eighteen per hour. So, divide by th three in... Well, no, divided by six. Uh, 18 over six, three. Uh, every 10 minutes it uses three uranium fuel cells. So about... Every three minutes and a bit costs one uranium fuel cell. Over an hour it costs... One of these costs us 144 uranium fuel cells. A Christoph game. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The nuclear rates are great. Yeah, so each of these big reactors um, is 144 uranium fuel cells per hour. And how much... If we go per hour, we're looking at 458... 459,000 core fragments, um, each of which have a small chance of giving us um, uranium. Uh, it takes 16, four, 16 core fragments to get a 5% chance of one uranium ore. And then you need 10 of those to have a small chance at getting Uranium-235. But once you've got Coverex, every single, every single Uranium can be turned into Uranium-235. Um, so you can just think of it as 10 Uranium ore equals 1 Uranium. Uh, that's not accounting for a bit of productivity bonus. 16% uh, at the moment. So, there's actually... There's, it's not difficult math, but there's a lot of steps, and I don't feel like doing it in my head. Um, you can call... 
16 core fragments, a chance uh, of 5%. If we're getting uh, 459,000 per hour divided by 16, uh, divided by 20, uh, divided by 10. So this is really tentative, but when you factor in productivity modules, I think core mining is actually only giving us enough uranium to power one of these reactors. And that's assuming that it goes full speed all the time. But, you know, uh, a, a patch of uranium of like 3.6 million, for example, is going to last us a very, very long time. 143 uranium per hour. That is with regular odds, too. Yeah. Could be lucky, could be unlucky. Yeah, but the larger the numbers get, uh, the, the higher the probability that your luck smooths out to the expected average. So to double the core fragments, you need to quadruple the core miners. Yeah. And to quadruple... Uh, t if, 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 our, if, if our source of power is nuclear, um, the amount of power that we spend on core, frag uh, core mining drills is going to outpace powering the base with nuclear power. Um, on the other hand, if you just keep spamming solar panels forever, um, you know, they're basically free, uh, except that they take up a lot of space. But anyway, we've got... Um, we've got quite a lot to keep us going for quite a while on Nalvis now. I'd really like to get this wall finished, and then we can really sort of just do what we want in terms of building and stuff. Uh, why don't we go and focus on that a little bit? I don't know if I'm already carrying a little bit of everything that I would normally drop out there. Root amount over amount. Yeah. It is... It, it, it scales up quickly. <laughs> okay. Maybe I could bump up the prior... Uh, I was going to say maybe I could bump up the priority of this station, but I don't want to repeat of what happened with the nuclear plant. Let's let the bots clear out my inventory a bit here. Technically, you're using energy to turn into matter, so it makes sense for it to be expensive. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Oh, how did I end up with this many pipes? Why don't I just drop some of this stuff in here? Um... I'm literally just stuck here, aren't I? Oh, there we go. Oh, the bots are trying to supply me as well. Whoops. Uh, sure. Uh, 
That's a lot of wood. I didn't realize how full these chests are. Okay. Um... Please get out of my inventory for the moment. That's... Why do we have this many radars out here? There should be like one delivery of radars that would ever come out this way. I might just put a bunch of this stuff in the trash. There'll be a train coming along to pick this stuff up. Nice. So we finally got rid of that. Um, I think we really need some smart... Oh, we accidentally added a switch over there. Uh, I think we can fix this from here. There should be a bot removing that in a moment. Yeah, so we don't want the wall power to be linked to the main base, um, except for when it's got access to export. Or if it's really low and it's desperately trying to import power. Core mining drill number 64 gave you a 0.8% increase in core fragments. Thanks, Excel. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit too lazy to do the math right now, uh, but I, I do have, um, I do have, have this controlled by power switch, and what I could be doing is remove core mining drills until we stop getting these, this switch switching on and off. Um, and then we would actually be getting, you know, the most that we can out of it without, uh, wasting power. How is the wall coming? Uh, Terex88, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The wall is halfway built. And it's had a few problems, but we're sorting that out. Um, let's just drop off a few more of these things. Don't need that, or that, or that, or that, or that, or that. That's actually really excessive. Lasers, guns, flamers, radars. More bots. And get all of this back into my inventory. Uh, the bots will get put back where they belong, but on the other hand, this is easier. Whoa. I guess I could have thought of that. Okay, anything else? Maybe some burners? So hopefully that has unclogged whatever other weird issues we've got going on over here. Um, maybe I... Maybe this could be a stack inserter, but normally this many items wouldn't appear in this requester chest quite so quickly. It's literally just for getting rid of things like wood from when trees have to be deconstructed over here. We could maybe have it request from buffer chests as well. 
No, that's not going to happen because buffer chests are only requesting items that are supposed to be here. And we're just straight up blacklisting them from getting sent to this chest. So even if we've got 10 million solar panels over here, we're not bringing the excess ones back this way. Which maybe we could do that. Um, but for now, I'm not too worried about it. By the way, can I get another permit? Sure. Got an experimental wall design to share. It's not 100%. Still need some backup and refinement. Let me just get to base. Let the bots resupply. Boop. Oops. Oops. That's not what we're looking for. Alright, so what have we got here? Oh, it's one of those uh, tricky walls that the biters struggle to get through. Judging by what I've seen with another one, that looks fairly effective. I, I don't know why I keep forgetting to do this, but I really want to play around with uh, having gates open and close to confuse the biters. Killbox trench? Yeah. Ideally, I would have the biters run at a juicy target, like a radar or some turrets, and then the wall shuts on them just in time, and then a different gate opens, and maybe they think they can go after that one. Or maybe they would just start attacking the gate, but that's okay as well. Flamers are turrets? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I think just about anything at the wall is a juicy target. They won't specifically go for the solar panels or accumulators here, but obviously everything that's here um, is at least supporting uh, something that's directly military. What's the range like on these gun turrets? Another blackout. That's... I don't understand why we're still getting little blackouts if... How is the accumulator dropping that quickly? I guess it's the coal mining drills. Um, maybe we should deconstruct a bunch of them for now. We do have... 920,000 copper and 37,000 iron, 379,000 iron plate in storage. I just realized I could, I, I could configure the colors to be different for uh, different decimals. So we could have like the first three be white or something. So we can really easily see where the thousands are, for example. Try removing 16 core miners, yeah. Uh, the other thing is that the uh, power switch arrangement out here is just not working out that well yet. Because it's not reaching the point where all of these accumulators are full, so it's sort of not getting up to normal but yes um the core miners uh, the core miners are switching on and off way too often which means we're because of the diminishing returns effect it's not like turning the core miners off um uh, it's only when you construct or deconstruct the core mining drills, when you place them, that it changes how effective each one of them is. Um, as you can see from the text over here, uh, switching them off doesn't have that effect. So it's not like you can switch off all core miners except for one and get the same efficiency as if you had just one. 
which is pretty unfortunate, if you ask me. Um, seems like we are gradually gaining accumulator charge during the day while the core miners are running. Um, so this is probably a pretty good amount. At least until we get another nuclear plant or two. But yeah, things like this accumulator right here was never charging up enough for these power switches to switch off, which means that we were paying the extra power cost of these laser turrets, which means that the whole system was struggling even more. It's kind of a Catch-22, I guess, for lack of a better description. I think I will put a little bit of time into feeding the biters back. Let's bring Artie over here. And wait till empty. I don't know if anything's going to be automatically in range. I don't think so. That's probably fine. Okay, the biters actually did get killed by the wall here, even though they attacked a pretty weak spot. Let's build until we don't have stuff in our inventory. And maybe then we'll attack the biters. There's really not that much more wall to build until this whole thing is done. Let's check on our power now. Yeah, that is significantly uh, less than we need. I mean, more power than we need now. We should stop seeing the core mining drills spike up and down. Uh, if we do keep it like this, it might actually be worth uh, adding power management or fuel management to the steam engines, the, uh, the nuclear plants. Um, but it's really, how fast does this make steam? 2.8 thousand per second. I'm thinking perhaps we could, it, it, it might be really difficult to add this to the existing design because of this placement. Um, Maybe it would be possible. I don't doesn't look good. But if we could have these pipes like go out here to some storage tanks. Maybe I'll make a another iteration on this design where the we do have some storage tanks in the middle of this. Um just so that we can have the fuel management. Because it's kind of, sort of, surprisingly close, looking at how much uranium we're getting out of coal mining, and then when you factor in all of the productivity modules and stuff, um, to compare that to how much fuel it costs uh, to run the nuclear plants, especially in combination with some solar that we've got. Uh, 
really kind of hard to quantify and calculate without just running tests and gathering data. But it might make a pretty significant difference to do fuel management. Depending on how many coal miners you're using. So, well that's just rude. Obviously, the more coal mining drills you add, um, the less possible it would be to run the whole thing on the nuclear plant, uh, the uranium that the coal miners themselves are mining. Since it gets less and less power efficient. So I guess, ultimately, no matter what you do, the answer is a lot of solar power. Or at least that is part of the answer. In which case, I guess it's not that big a deal to bother with the fuel management over here. I do like, though, when you do the circuits for fuel management, it ends up completely synchronizing, putting all of the fuel into the nuclear reactors at exactly the same time. It just kind of looks neat. Another thing we could do is spend some of the copious amounts of excess coal that we make on uh, making fuel uh, to use in steam engines. Well, we already built that a little bit into our coal liquefaction system. Since we're bringing coal and water here anyway, um, it might, I don't know, but maybe with productivity modules and stuff, it might be more efficient to, like, turn it into solid fuel or rocket fuel, and then burn that. But this is really just a sort of, a little bonus, because of, we've got the space and the resources are already here and everything. Um, this, uh, these steam engines just about pay for the power that you're going to be using from the coal liquefaction most of the time. Uh, let's get RT to help us out a little bit. I don't need help with that base, I don't think. And let's hit this one, and then run back to RT before the biters pay RT a visit. I probably should have checked the status of the wall that Spiders are probably going to run straight through now. Maybe there was enough over here? Oh, that looks concerning. If you're just looking for power efficiency, you might be better off using green modules. Um, you can't use green modules or modules of any kind with uh, coal mining. Okay. Um, let's use the navsat just to double check there aren't expansions over this way. Oh. Sneaky. I feel like the rate of biter expansion is higher than normal. Possibly. Okay.
I meant if you wanted to do coal liquefaction for power. Uh, that's a point. Yeah, that's, uh... That might be tricky to calculate, comparing it. Oh, down we go. Yes. How do I... I do wish escape would get me out of Navsat instead of bringing up the menu. I think that killed me earlier. One more little base and that should be the end of the expansions over here. Just double check. Okay. Uh, seems like... I know part of this is because I was there building it, but it seems like the wall construction might be accelerating. I should probably run back to base and get some more stuff for that. I wonder if it would be worth swapping out some modules. No, I think for the Omni Smelters, it's not just wanting to save power, but um, looking at the speed of the belts, there's a reason not to go faster here. We're still doing the same smelting that I saw earlier, with steel, copper, copper, copper... No, it was, a uh, four steel, two copper. Hmm. I could also, now that I think about it... Actually, I wonder if I can do that. If I can do it with one, um... Programmable speaker per Omni Smelter, I might do this. If not, we won't. But I was thinking... Uh, do we have any of these? I don't think so. I think we've got two sitting around, because I don't automate these, because I almost never build them. There are two speakers on the way. Uh, good luck spotting the bots that are bringing them. I wonder where they are. I could put a... I might just put a green chest up here programmable speakers just so that we don't have to look for them on the occasion that we want them not I'm still not gonna I'm still not going to bother automating them probably okay so the idea is can we I don't suppose we can change the icon for the alert here, um, based on what signal we're sending it. It doesn't look like we can. Which would mean, if I want to be able to look at the map and see an icon here based on 
uh, which type of smelting we're doing, we'd probably need six uh, speakers or as many different speakers as possible resources that could come over here. I don't think that's something I want to do. Signal value is pitch. What I want is um, input signal is alert icon. But I don't think that's going to happen. How's our coal rocket? Looks like it's completely full. Uh, apparently I miscounted and we're exactly two stacks short of filling this thing for some reason. We're asking for 25,000. This says 24,000. Uh, 498 times 50 is 24,900. Why... Oh, hang on. Okay, so we're 100 short. Input signals 100. Each remainder 10. Uh, okay. And then this one is... Okay, I think if we change this to greater than or equal to 100... We'll get some more coal sent over here. Um, here it is. And then as soon as the requested amount drops... Um, Drops below 10, only this requester chest will be requesting any. I think. Yep. So there's 90 to go. Hold on. Is this still wrong? No, we're just, we've got the exact same problem, but we shifted it just a little bit. Hmm. I probably should have kept exactly this circuit, but then just added a combinator here where this wire is. Um, that just goes each greater than 100 output. Well, it would be two combinators, but still. Like, what we're doing here... Each times ten... These two combinators should have been... Not where they are, replacing uh, this combinator, but in front of this combinator, where this green wire is. Let's see if we can sort it out. Copy this again for the moment. Oh, what? I guess we made a little exception for this one? Um, why don't we fly over there? And completely overshoot. Okay. So. This goes here. This. Whoops. That's just the green wire here. Red wire on both of those. Okay. Green wire goes to here. That's the one we want to change. And red wire goes to here. Okay. 
it's gonna be difficult to fit just for this one. Um... It's just a straight line, effectively, isn't it? Yeah. We could squeeze you in over here somewhere. So that goes there, and there, and... might look a bit better. Oh, that does not seem to be working out. Anything greater than zero output anything. We're outputting 90 coal. Each remainder 10 output each. Uh, that's not outputting anything. These two are outputting divided by 10 and each. That seems fine. So this would normally go straight to here. Instead, it's going to... I see. Um, this should probably just say greater than 10. Or not. Hmm. Uh, why don't we just normalize it to 10 unconditionally if we're getting this signal? So greater greater than zero. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so once the amount of coal that we're asking for actually drops down to less than 10, um, then it'll only be this request a chest and this stack inserter. The only downside from this design over this one is it uses more combinators and we're going to go over, I think, with the amount of stuff that actually gets put in here. So it's gonna we're gonna have excess that has to get taken out and put in here, I suspect. On the other hand, we're not asking for 300 bots for every one of these chests. So we're down to 10, and now it's only this one that's requesting. But there should be bots in motion. There aren't actually, because they come in waves. So the last seven coal is going to get put in this one. That works. And we could probably change it so instead of 10, it's like the last 100 or something. That does leave quite a few little bits of coal just sitting over here. Oh, we're not going to overload this, actually, because of this system. That's not sort of the whole point of it. Only this inserter inserts the last bit. But it will take more bots to... Well, it might take more bots to get rid of what ends up in these purple chests, but... We're not going to have 4,000 bots in flight when we're loading this thing. I suppose that's okay. Alright, so why don't we send our coal where it belongs? Always love this launch sequence. And I don't think we're going to need to send another rocket up here for a while for coal liquefaction because the fluids are already pretty full. And there's still 21,000 ice over here. 
That does not go there. No. That does... Definitely does not go over there. Um, I might have to get the bots to tidy that up. I forgot about those temporary inserters that we had to move all of that uh, science over. We actually can just remove this outright. Speaking of science, uh, we're still doing it. I thought we ran out. I may have done the calculations. We've got 556 left over here. Uh, mining productivity 5 requires 5,000. So about 2,500 to go. Productivity bonus of 48% is huge, but it's not going to get us there. Um, we do have plenty of the regular sciences. So we need to make sure we get some more of this. Um, apparently rocket fuel is what we're missing. We could probably just make that up here. I think I've got a biochemical facility that the bots could place. I could be wrong. I never noticed the rotating these things. Or maybe I just forgot, but they always look the same. It just changes where the pipes go. Um, rocket fuel. I think the most efficient way is still light oil into solid. And then solid and light is required for rocket fuel. You can also use vulcanite blocks, which we've got quite a lot of up here. Uh, not that many. I think uh, fuel would be a better idea. So, solid fuel is made in regular assemblers, I think. Solid fuel, no. Is it made in chemical plants? I don't have any on me. I just need to check if we need a chemical plant or a fuel refinery. I know we're going to need a fuel refinery for... Okay, yeah, it's all fuel refineries, I think. Here it is. Okay. Can we place fuel refineries in space, or... I think we can. Uh, do we have fuel refineries upstairs already? I see three of them, so probably. Oh, we're already making rocket fuel. It was right here all along. I just missed it. Okay, then. Uh, why don't we bring some rocket fuel over to this machine? That was far simpler than I expected it to be. Until we run into the next resource that this is missing. That'll keep the uh, space science coming for quite a while, I think. Fantastic. Alright, let's make sure the wall gets finished. Um, I would like... All of the lasers, please. And... I should probably do something a bit more... deliberate with connecting this to main power. But for now, let's just pick up every laser turret we can.
And then maybe we'll do the same thing for solar panels. I probably shouldn't be removing my shields, actually. Well, we'll keep one shield. No, make it two. And RoboPorts go. This has been damaged for a while. Looks like. I think this might be enough uh, laser turrets to place everything. It's like 28 per block. We'll see. Yeah, I think it I think it is enough actually. More power. I should probably make some trimmed down versions of this wall where, like, the first blueprint that I place down is going to be a lot easier for the bots to build. And it's going to have, sort of, enough coverage against light attacks. And then we can start beefing it up instead of trying to build the final product all the way down as we go. This is a lot faster than just waiting on the train and bots to build it all. Okay, there's some stuff missing, so let's make sure we fix that. Is that? Yes, it is. I don't know why it keeps doing that, because I'm definitely holding down a uh, shift whenever I place those walls. I see no bot activity up here, that is concerning. Um, we're definitely requesting things from LTN. So, not sure what's going on here. Are our trains moving? Yes. The trains are doing just fine, it looks like. Oh, we got iron and we got iron ore in storage as well. That's a really good sign. Uh, fifty-four thousand for now. That's pretty good. So we're really was that biters? Yes. We're really not struggling resource-wise, so I don't know why we're not seeing more stuff brought to the wall. Especially after simplifying the design. Uh, 
do we have small trains? Oh. Wait, no, we do. We have plenty of small trains in the depots. Uh, I think I found the problem. So this train wants to bring quite a lot of resources down this way. Um, it's currently waiting on gun turrets. Are we just not making gun turrets fast enough? I would laugh if it turns out the entire thing is just bottlenecked on that. No, we have 500 gun turrets here, so I don't think that's the problem. Especially considering this machine has actually stopped because the output is full. We're requesting only three gun turrets here at a time. Even though the train wants... Uh -huh. The train is requesting more than it can carry. Um... Why is the train requesting more than it can carry? Three stacks of gun turrets, three stacks of storage chests, four stacks of green, so that's ten, uh, plus four, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, uh, plus four, five, thirty, thirty-two, uh, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. It shouldn't be full, actually, if I'm calculating this right. It's got... Did I just count the stack sizes wrong, or am I missing... What have we got here? 202 solar panels. Okay. The precise loader isn't working. I don't know how this happened. Um, we definitely tested the precise loader. It is setting stack sizes and everything. Uh, this inserter is trying to over-insert gun turrets. Well, I guess that's not too surprising, considering that we got this happening. Um... How did this happen, though? It might be a whole lot better just to have one chest that inserts this stuff. It certainly simplified things on the drop-off side of things. But I don't understand why... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't understand why that precise loader failed in its job. Um, I guess also if I had just put in a, a sort of plan B. If I have a filter inserter remove excess items, that would also fix it. Um, I think that's the best course of action in the moment. So let's do that. So we need to compare what's in the train with... Whoa, where are we going? Over this way? Um, we need to figure out what's in the train that's not supposed to be in the train. Let's put some extra stuff in this one. 100 rail. Whoops. Uh, and... 
good. It's waiting on walls for some reason. Oh, there they go. No, wait, no, I needed to test something. No. Okay, so... What the train is asking for... That was way too quick. What the train is asking for is on this red wire. Plus what it arrives here with, which should be nothing. Uh, minus what is in the train. So this red wire is... Uh, the total of what the train is still asking for. Um, I don't think that wire is going to give us our answer. Um, if we just look at... Well, no, it is going to be based on this, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this will be a negative, um, is that? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's fine. Alright. I thought this wasn't connected. Um, and I wondered how on earth this has been working as, as well as it has so far. Um, we need to get the negatives from this red wire right here, and then multiply by negative one, and feed it to a whitelisted uh, filter inserter. Stack size one. Although we could be fancy and like make it a stack filter inserter and set the stack size for this as well, but I think that's a little overkill for literally just remove excess items that somehow get in there. Uh, purple chest. Each times negative one output each. So if I put stuff in here that's not supposed to be here, that's not working. Um... Contents of train. This is negative 200. Each greater than zero. Oh, this is connected at the wrong spot. So that's just, that's just there to remove only one. Okay. So this red wire goes here. And then... Set filters. There it goes. Okay, cool. I put way too many productivity modules in for this little test, but anything excess that's in here, we're asking for 25 robo ports. We've got 23 so far. Um, is anything else over? I don't think so. Oh, it is actually. Kind of. Oh no, the output signals that are positive are uh, what's in the train that's excess. Yeah. Alright, cool. That should fix it. I would prefer that our precise loader just never inserted extra items, um, and we didn't get this problem. But... Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. So we're asking for big electric poles and robo ports that we don't have. All of our belts are saturated except for steel. I think that's going to be the problem right now. Okay. I think we do need more Omni Smelters. Strangely enough. Uh, we're still storing zero steel, as expected. 
And I should probably also implement that change I talked about earlier where um, we don't start smelting steel unless we're really full on iron plate so that it doesn't uh, switch over too often. Why do you have burner inserter and hi? Uh, big up. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, there's a few use cases for burner inserters. Um, if you're using them for, like, steam engines, for example, uh, for one thing, you don't have to power them, and right from the start of the game, you could do a little space-saving feature where you have your boilers like this and do a little squiggly belt like so. Uh, normally you have to wait for substations to be able to do this. Uh, burner inserters have a minimum consumption of zero, so as long as they're not moving too often, they're actually more energy efficient than, um, for example, a yellow inserter. Uh, but more to the point, later on in the game, uh, these gun turrets are basically just sort of a last resort. Um, the DPS with uh, uranium rounds is very, very high, but gun turrets are still you know, shorter range than laser turrets, and they're very fragile. So we just have these as a last resort, but more to the point, um, we have burner inserters here because we don't want it to be dependent on power. Uh, there's a little bit of fuel and some ammo in the requester chests. So if we have a blackout, uh, apart from the flamethrower turrets, the gun turrets and their inserters are still going to work. In the train? Uh, yeah, the train is bringing burner inserters to uh, the walls. Um, that is a long list of stuff. I could pr probably... Hmm... Maybe I've overthought this, and it would be better just to have requesters that request, like, at least one stack of all of the various things that get delivered to these walls. No, we, we still run into the same problem of we can't set requests and read contents at the same... Well, we could just set the requests arbitrarily and then read contents. I think... Because the problem with this system here is it basically assumes infinite resources from uh, the robo-network. We could read from the robo-network to check if we've got things available. In fact... In fact... That's a thought. We could treat the entire... We could have a pickup station that talks to LTN and basically reports the entire robo-network as being available, or maybe limit each item to like 50 or 100 or something. And then you would have to dynamically set the requests and so on. And then you wouldn't get a issue like this where because we're paused on steel at the moment, uh, this train is waiting a very long time for items that it thought were available. Um, this is also the downside of well, we clearly need more smelters but 
This is also the downside of having this latch system where we don't swap what resources we're smelting for a while. Because we can be not making steel for quite a while. Um, and it's basically stopped the entire main bus base. On the other hand, if we just keep adding Omni Smelters, uh, we're simply going to have enough of all of the plate resources. Come to think of it, uh, the storage system actually really exacerbates this problem because we keep making iron plate and copper plate and holy crap, that's full. Wow. Wait, is it? This looks full, but the counter is only saying 144,000. We have 1.1 million. Did... Did something go wrong here? Maybe. 103,000, that one looks correct. One point one million copper. This says zero four four six six uh six two five. I'm not sure what's going on with this display. I'm very confused. How do you swap what you are making, or is it a manual process? Uh, it is, well, in vanilla, whatever you're putting into a uh, furnace will get smelted. But for this type of furnace, which is uh, an industrial furnace, it's part of space exploration, um, you do actually have to set recipes. And we've got a mod that does that in response to circuit conditions. Um, as to how we decide to set the uh, recipes, uh, this is a lot of combinators, but it's really quite basic. We're saying if there's no vulcanite blocks, we can't do any of these recipes that include vulcanite blocks. If there's no iron ore, we can't make iron plate. Uh, if there's no copper, we can't make copper. If there's no iron plate, we can't make steel. This is looking at the input uh, storages. We multiply that signal by negative one. Uh, over this way, we've got some circuits that say uh, if iron plate is less than one train load, we can start uh, making iron plate. Um, and don't stop until it's over 100k, unless we run out of resources. Um, yes. So that's, uh, that's basically the same for all of those other resources. Uh, what else? There's, there's a lot that goes into this particular Omni Smelter design. It's probably... It's definitely one of the most complex things I've built, um, circuit-wise. But a lot of it is just bringing together a bunch of different circuits that by themselves are not that complicated. There's just a lot of little checks and things to look out for. But yeah, ultimately, you figure out what recipe you want, and you feed it to one of these crafting combinators. Oh, this one's reading, actually. Uh, this one, it has to face the machine that it is going to read or write the recipe to. How much of your update time is just the circuit network? Uh, good question. Where does it show the circuit network? Circuit networks 2.4. Is that a lot? Entity update is 4.8. Uh, 
Uh, FNEO is kind of in the way. Game update in total is 12.3. Circuit network is 2.5. So it's a little bit under a quarter of all of that. I guess. Using a mod? Yes, indeed. Certainly a lot compared to most people. Yeah, definitely. Um, did we fix this train system? I think we did, and the problem is we just need steel. I might just... I might just cheat a little bit for a moment, because I saw... 14,000 steel. Um, I'll just remove the stack threshold for this one. And this is the 14,000. Uh, where's our re provide threshold? There we go. So LTN should create a delivery for this one quite soon. Any second now. Actually, this is a terrible idea because I just remembered the precise loader here kind of counts on having a multiple of four steel. But we can just manually intervene just this once. I'm surprised this is taking so long, though. How many trains do we have? We have several trains that are ready to make delivery. Um, so there's no, well, there's a default request threshold here, and we got rid of the provide threshold over here, and we've got Oh, I think I... I think I remember why. I think this thing here arbitrarily doesn't report to LTN unless we've got enough for a full train as well. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So LTN should create this request quite soon. There it goes. All right, back to 17,000. And copy this one back. And over here, put this back to request stack threshold of a full train. And that'll bring us some steel. Unless we don't have a multiple of four steel plate in here, we, we might not see this thing finish loading. Depending on which inserter... Unless the maximum... Uh, and unless this uh, and this and this and this chest that lines up with these green wires on these inserters have the most steel, I think we're going to end up with this thing looking a bit stuck. Yep, there it is. You can see what's going on there. Alright, so let's just pick that up manually and put it in here. And away goes the train. So... I feel like I should probably... I should probably do something so that our iron plate storage is 
inactive unless we've got steel. Because... We're just going to keep making iron plate until the end of time at this rate. Like, we're going to have to saturate iron plate everywhere before we end up making steel again, almost. But this will be a little bit of a boost for the base for now, at least. I also want to make sure I fix... Um, the amount of iron plate we're requesting here for making steel. Um, this should be... 9,000. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And a six. Jelly the Bean, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Certainly a lot compared to most people, I think, yeah. Uh, wait, did I answer that already? I think I looked at it again and thought we were talking about steel. Okay, so you are bringing iron plate, it looks like. I also wanted to add some circuitry to the Omni Smelters to say... Don't start smelting steel unless unless iron plate is greater than 100k, but I would have to run, I think it's this red wire here, right? Okay, so this red wire tells us how much of all of the inputs we've got. Um... Oh, we've already got it all the way over here. Okay, so I need to run red wire down this way. Um, that red wire is not on those power poles. And I think what we're going to do is... What? Okay. Mix that up there. And this over... This is not going to work. Um, I might need another power pole just for this. I just need to know how much iron plate is up here. And add a combinator down here, probably. Um, to say... If our input iron plate, not our final product, so not connected to this green wire. I do wish that would reach. Okay. If Iron plate is less than 100k. Uh, that is a no to smelting steel. So this way... Uh, this way... Because iron it takes five times as much iron plate to make steel. Um, I don't want to smelt just a little bit of steel and then stop. I want to at least have enough iron plate to make more than a train load of steel every time we start smelting steel. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a pain patching that for every single smelter, but it's not too difficult. Yes, you did. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, just a short stream today as I'm uh, having to work a little bit. Uh, same for tomorrow, and then I don't have work for a little while. Let's have a look for someone to raid. Mucky is streaming. Oh, Dune is streaming. Dune's good. I think I've only raided them once as well, so why don't we drop by? Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time.
uh, check out the blueprints or the Discord if you're interested. Um, if you have uh, requests or questions, or if there's anything broken in the blueprints by any means, let me know. Sorry, Kristoff. Uh, but yeah, I've only got two days of work next week, so not so many short streams uh, for the foreseeable future. All right, let's drop in on Dune, shall we? Oh, and uh, Michael, I didn't see you there. Hello. Haven't played with biters in a while. Yeah, I missed some chats. How do you know? How do you swap what you're making? I didn't miss that part. Okay, cool. There's only a couple of things. All right, let's go, shall we? Alright, so we just need to name this. 